The Oregon State Honeybee Lab presents Testing for Nizema. Your sample must contain at least 100 bees from the colony of interest. Store them in 70% ethanol or in the freezer until analysis. The items you will need for analysis will be your stored sample, forceps, a mortar and pestle, a dish or container, a cutting utensil like a scalpel or micro scissors, a graduated cylinder measuring up to 100 milliliters and deionized water, disposable pipettes, and a hemocytometer with cover slip. From your sample, take out exactly 100 bees with forceps and place in your container. Sever the abdomen from the thorax of each bee using a cutting utensil and forceps. Place all abdomens into the mortar. Grind your 100 abdomens with the pestle. It's important that all abdomens have been thoroughly crushed for a homogenized sample. Measure out 100 milliliters of deionized water using your graduated cylinder. If your sample doesn't contain exactly 100 abdomens, add one milliliter of water per each bee of your sample. The water will curve at the surface when poured into the graduated cylinder. Make sure to measure using the bottom of that curve. Pour water into the mortar. Using your disposable pipette, stir and draw up part of the sample. Place one drop onto one of the triangular spots in the counting chamber of the hemocytometer. Carefully place a cover slip over the counting chamber. Turn on the microscope light and set the power to 400 times. Then place the hemocytometer on the microscope and begin to put in focus. Once your sample is in focus, Move the slide around to find a set of guidelines. We want to find where the horizontal and vertical guidelines cross each other. Since we found the horizontal guidelines first, we will move left and right to find the vertical ones. We located the upper right-hand corner of the cross-hatching grid. Count the total number of Nizema spores within this cornered square that's outlined by triple-lined grid marks. Here are some highlighted Nizema spores. Become familiar with their distinct shape and outline. It may take some practice to decipher spores from other debris within the sample. If a Nizema spore falls within the border grid lines, do not count the ones that lie within the left and bottom border, but do count the ones that lie within the top and right border. Move the slide around and count all spores that lie within each corner square and the very middle square of the grid. Record the total number of spores. You will multiply the total number of counted Nizema spores by 50,000. This will give you the estimated number of Nizema spores per bee within your sample. For example, if you counted 50 spores, your sample contains 2.5 million Nazima spores per individual bee.